Hi, my name is Nico from Lighthouse Consultants. Today, we want to talk about a timeline view. And specific, I want to share some tips to make the setup very easy. So let's not wait and dive directly into the content. So if we are coming to the template which I prepared, we can see here a standard project plan. In this example, it's about a machine or equipment supplier. So we have different phases such as preparation phase, raw material ordering phase, equipment build phase and delivery and accepting phase. So times are here inside, start date, end date, duration and others. So how it would look like if I go into the gun view, it's like this, that I have here the overview of course about the separate tasks and also the progress. So it is good to see in a Gantt, um, but of course if we adding more and more uh, topics inside, um, if we have like 500 lines or a thousand lines, um, it gets a bit messy. So therefore the new timeline view could help a lot. So if I switch it to it, into it, we can see that we have here a cluster in different in the different phases. So one phase is here gates and milestones. We have the preparation phase. So we have the raw material, equipment build phase, and delivery acceptance phase. So you can see it's more comprehensive. So we can um, see and follow the status uh, much easier, especially because we have the color coding, um, everything what is done in green, uh, the stuff which is open is gray, and the stuff which is in progress is actually blue here. So there's a filter also with which I can um, take out the faces on top, so we have a much better and more condensed overview here. So um, there are several steps we have to consider to get a view in this way and we will talk about this in just a second. So let's come back to the grid view and see together what are the three things we need to adjust in order to get the result which I just showed. The first thing is we need to utilize the conditional formatting. So you can see here in the progress there's a formula behind but furthermore each pro status of a progress is also coloring the taskbar and that's very important. You see, so for delay the taskbar is in orange and then of course the same color will appear within the timeline view. So that's the first thing which we need to set up. The second thing is um, we can handle with some formulas. So I will unhide the hidden columns and what you can find here is one very important formula because this formula helps us to write next to every single item the related phase. So you can see here is the gate and milestone phase and here we have all the information written down and same is for the preparation phase and also raw material orders phase and the equipment build phase. And this information is very important because we will use it to sort within the timeline view. In order to do so, we need a second step. We need here to change the column properties to a drop down list. Just a drop down list is possible to be sorted in the timeline view. And the last but not least important topic is here that the values of the drop down list need to be sorted in the way as we want to have it presented in the timeline view. 
So this is the end of the video already. Um, it was very short and very precise. Of course, we are creating more content like this. And if you want to follow us and uh, see more content, please like and subscribe the video. Thank you very much.